of us at the Dub Network and Harps Court would like to thank the crew at Herman Marshall Whiskey for being such a tremendous partner. Herman Marshall is known for their handcrafted, award-winning small batch whiskey. Whether it is their Texas bourbon, Texas rye, Texas single malt, or their blended bourbon whiskey, all of their whiskeys are built from the grain up, just like good whiskey should be. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Harps Court. I'm your host, Derek Harper. I'm joined by my co-host, two-time NBA champion, two-time All-Star, Mark Aguirre is here. And it gets better, believe it or not, because I have another NBA champion and a multiple All-Star and Sean Marion. Tricks, how you doing? And thanks for joining Harps Court. Man, what's up, man? Uh, <laughs> good. You know, you sounded like Tim man. Hardaway there. I'm, I'm looking at them big old shots. <laughs> that's, that's whiskey, right? I'm like, yes, oh, man, that's <laughs> you want you an old fashioned, huh? <laughs> man, no, give me a, give me Timmy on the rocks right now. Man. <laughs> man. How's everything going in Chicago, man? You doing all right? Man, it's good, man. Just yeah. being a father, enjoying life, man. Yeah. Just trying to make things happen, man. Uh huh. Well, again, I appreciate you coming on, man. And two, both of you can can relate to what I'm getting. My first question is going to be, and that is, what is the criteria in both of you guys' opinion for getting into the Hall of Fame? I think both, Sean, you and Mark deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. What, in your opinion, Trix, is the, the criteria for it? Um... You know what, man? <laughs> yeah, I, I know, yeah, I'm I glad know. you asked him I, that first. No, I, I caught shot off guard. I caught off guard. No, you yeah, 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 yeah. You, uh, you, 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 you threw a shot at me. You know what, man? Hard man. I don't know what it is, man. You know, um, uh, it's, it's a popularity contest, I guess, to a certain degree. It's, 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 I guess, if they, if they choose if they like you, don't like you, or whatever it is. I don't know, man. You know, um. You know, you you would think it would go back down to uh, numbers and statistics and stuff like that. Yeah. But I can't, I can't just, I can't, I can't honestly say that that's one hundred percent accurate because, based off of the stuff that I've seen and people have sent to me, you know, mm-hmm. what I'm saying and all the stuff that I've got, the information I've gotten, it's like it's been like I'm like, wow, what is, is that possible? It's like because mm-hmm. I, I guess ever ever since they changed the the eligibility status, yes, it went it went from seven or ten years to to three years, right? And okay. one of the first years I was eligible, I was eligible to do it though. I was on the list that they send out. I was first on the list. And um even throughout since since I've been eligible to be on this list, I've been I've been top 10 or so. So like it's like it's crazy. I mean even when Kobe and rest in peace Kobe and, and Kevin Garnett and Tim Duncan, I was forced on the list with those guys. Wow. So based off wow. of all the numbers that they keep posting and stuff. So you sit there, I don't know what it is, man. You know, um uh, it is, man, maybe I'm just, I'm just too kidding and too honest about stuff. They don't like it. It is what it is. <laughs> at this point, though, I'm at peace right now. And uh-huh. you know what, man? You know, I know why I gave this game, and mm-hmm. it is what it is. I know why I gave I know why I'm into this game right now. You're, you're witnessing. We're witnessing right now how much I sacrificed and, and I, I bought into the culture that we created to win. And you're seeing it right now at full, a full blast right now, what the NBA is right now. Yeah, you are. Right. Yeah, man, I I I I agree with you. The the poll moves, you know, it really moves, and I think um, there is no way you can actually say, well, these things, these things, these things gets me into the Hall of Fame, you know. And um, I really um, understand, you know, like I've been eligible a lot, a lot longer than you have, Tricks, uh, and I I've adapted to the fact that I can't even think about what the criteria is, right. you know, I can't think about what that cri- criteria is. I just look Why at, is that though, Mark? Because, uh, do, because you know, both you guys know what you did in your career. Does, does that yeah. have anything to do? Well, with yeah, that? I thought I checked every box, right? You know, I mean, I, I mean, just to be honest with you, I thought I checked every box. I mean, yeah. like tricks, we got championships. Yeah. Uh, you got all-star appearances. You were on the top, uh, forwards during your uh, your heyday, you were, you all were mentioned as a, team? Yeah, all defensive team. No, I so, make no all defensive team. I didn't. What's your shot? Hold it. What? I should have. Yeah. Are you serious? That's, 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 that's actually, another. That's, Are you that's, kidding that's, me? That actually, that actually pisses me off more than anything. I know. Right? Tricks. Wow. Oh, that's, that, that's revealing to me. You didn't make that's dis- that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Hold on. That's disgusting. Hold it. Uh, I don't want to get ugly, but uh, 
Can you tell me who Where made it before you, you? All of a sudden, you don't want to get dude, I, I don't want to get ugly like that. You know, I want to mention no I names. Know, I know what I did, and everybody know what I did. Man, I was like Deion Sanders out there. They ain't throwing didn't nobody. Or, didn't nobody want to see you, man. <laughs> they <didn't> want to <laughs> like, see me. I nobody want to see you. Yeah. Oh my god, I watched you, man. And uh, you know, as a, <laughs> as an offensive player, when I watch you, I look at it and say, "Well, could I have done this to him? Or I've done that to you." And to me, in a personal basis, like you had length, mm -hmm. you had strength. And you had quickness. I look at it like that. So when your guy has those kind of things, yes. you know, and he understands yes, what you're yeah. trying to do, that's a tough night. That's a tough night. And I seen you do it night after night after night. I mean, to the best of them. In multiple positions, too. Mm -hmm. Sean, you guarded multiple positions, right? Yeah, man. You know, you know the sad part about that, Mark. Right I sit here five. and I, and I have these I have these debates with people. And I, 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 I really like to articulate this and – Understand this, and it is what it is. It's not. I'm not. I don't, I'm not taking no shots at nobody. I'll give everybody they just. I'm love taking shots. Game. I'm taking and shots. This, the truth <laughs> is, though, I was like, can y'all tell me one player in NBA history that guarded one through five for the whole game? Not. Wow. And, and the, one through five. One through five. The whole game. Not. Not for no quarters. Wow. Not for no few minutes. Anything like that. And that's the. And that's the. And, and you can't. I'm the only one who did it. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I was like, oh, I'm like, listen. I'm not taking nothing away from them. We have some very versatile defenders in this league, from Scottie Pittman, who, who yes. you know, what I'm saying, who I love and respect it and stuff. But he ain't guard no fives. Not I didn't guard. I mean, he ain't guard no fives during this era. But I mean, see, I those are the things. I didn't guard fives and power fours during my era. He wasn't guarding those guys. He wasn't guarding no power fours. He was guarding pr predominantly everybody on the perimeter, mm -hmm. and, and and did a great job doing it. I'm guarding one. I was guarding one through five, like for whole games, mm -hmm. not for no. <laughs> No, no couple wow. minutes and stuff. So like that's that's why I'm that's why I'm understanding though. Look, like, and at the time I'm doing it, and I'm the I, I I had to go two sides two two uh two sides above me. It was the, the most dominant position in the league at the time was power forward. Think about it. Think about the power forwards. I had to go guard then. That's wow. crazy. I didn't know. It's that. really crazy. But nobody. So 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 you got real basketball savants. They know, and they they, they give me my love and respect. And I love the fans. Fans, we don't have a league without fans. But but it's almost like a lot of things that we we talk about, and you and we we have this 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 platform to do on is uh -huh. though it's geared towards people who never played this game. That's right. <laughs> Preach it. But Sean, yeah, that's but, the truth, but like, Sean, you know, everybody who who, who handles most of the stuff about this game, a lot of them did not even participate. Right. Never played. They this just game. put out narratives more or less. Yeah. But yeah, you know, so, sorry, let me so, ask you, brother. So do you think that more of that uh, selection process should be favored or move somewhat toward, uh, you know, players, meaning that the second amount of players that have some type of impact and saying, OK, here are the all stars. OK, so the media has its pick, but then have an input from a selected players, not just anybody random that. We pick as I mean, you basketball. Could, you could go as far as saying the hall. Let the Hall of Famers that are in, uh, even that, pick the people that should be coming in. They yeah. know better than anybody, or at least have a piece in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't absolutely. say take. Oh, they uh, do. They do have a piece, and they vote. They get the vote. Yeah, they get the but vote. I don't, I don't yeah. know what the vote carries. Well, how come now. I'm not in? What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what the tangible is. How that breaks down? I'm not. I'm not. We we don't have to be up here in debate. I'm just. I'm just throwing what I'm just throwing you, giving you ideas, and telling you what's exactly what's real. You know wow. what I'm saying? It's not a, wow. it's not about who needs to change. It's not like, hey, every, it's, it's, there's flaws in everything we're doing. Like I say, everybody That's wants right. to say there's flaws in my game, flaws in your game, whatever. But this ain't, we're not talking about the game. Our game is over with now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. What, what, what we've done is written down in the books, and it's, it's in the history books already. Yeah. So, based off of what we've done in the history books and stuff, what is the, what is the, you know, like you said, what is the criteria? The criteria actually doesn't change. It's the people who's who's actually constructing the criteria changes. Well, that's tough. I mean, I, 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 you couldn't have told me that, Sean. I mean, you, you just opened my eyes up to a few things, man. Because I mean, when I looked truth, at though. you, I would looked at you as like, oh, you know, I don't want him. You know, if I can pass it, yeah. put him to some, put him on somebody else. I don't so, want him. So let me let me ask this then. <clears throat> so there's some people they petition to get to the All-Star Game, to get to the Hall of Fame, things of that nature. Does that make sense? Does it make sense for Sean to say he guarded five positions as a small forward, power forward, 
and never made the all-defensive team. What, what do you do about that? In all due respect to everybody that's in the Hall of Fame, I don't, I, I'm not worried about getting into the Hall of Fame. I'll probably be in heaven when, when, when all of this comes to fruition, <laughs> right, right? right? But I know I'm fighting for you two guys because I played with you. Right, right. And I watch Sean because I love defense, and I love guys that leave it on the floor every single night. And that's what both of you did. So that's why I, I popped up with this question. I thought about it last night. I'm like, I'm going to ask both these guys who I feel should be all-stars. What, what are they missing? What, what, what's, well, Sean, what's being missed? Sean, I don't, I mean, I'm happy to be on here with you, you know, because um, we passed each other. And as an individual, as a person, I've seen you. I've seen you move. I've seen you think. But uh, really, I, I don't know you. You know, I know multiple people that you know. And when I know Derek and I know a lot of other people that, you know, know you and I take their oh, credibility, I, <laughs> I take their credibility, you know, cause I trust in them yeah. totally. I trust in you totally. I trust in Tim Hardaway totally. We're, you know, friends. And, um, for me to sit here and cause I don't know you now, I don't know you that well, but just by your play, when I saw you play, it's, it's it's incredible that you tell me that you you never made the no, all defense. all defense. That's like a travesty. Mm -hmm. When everybody look at him, he won multiple championships on every team. It talked about you know one of the best defenders in the NBA, and so, uh, yeah, and I, and it comes like this. I mean, I'm totally innocent because I don't know you. I don't know you that well. I'm just uh, just like a fan looking at it. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, to, for him to be not, I would, I'd lose all the money I had if you told me you bet if, uh, if he didn't make the all. Yeah, he made yeah, multiple. Yeah. yeah, you would think so. Yeah. Let, me, let me throw something at you real quick, Sean. So guys that are, that are top-notch defenders in the league right now, I'll throw out Draymond Green. Assess what you think of him as a defender. So I think he's a, a great defender for their system, and he's, 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 uh, he does some great intangibles out there. He, he's a physical body and stuff. I don't think he guards the the point guards uh, right. as well as I did. But the traditional bigs are not traditional bigs anymore now. So, like, they a lot of a lot of guys, a lot of the bigs now are face-up bigs, though. He does exactly what that team needs him to do at right. times. Now, right. But, see, uh, when do it, does, it lead, does, it, does he lead the team in shot blocks? No. Does he lead the team in, in – um, and uh, rebounds, uh, no, no, actually, I'm, no. So uh, or steals, no. But what he does, he creates the he's the heartbeat of their defense, and you gotta give him credit on that point. But uh, is he a bully? His motor is, is is special for that team. That's what he does for that team, yeah. and that's what enables them to do. And, and they feed off his energy and stuff. Do I think he's a handle? Do I think he's a pick up somebody ninety four feet and, and give him? No, that's not happening. You know. Did I do that? Yeah, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? And one through five. But when I I think of him, I think him, I think him as a, I mean, and, and look, one of the best things about, about defending of, or anybody who, who thinks a defender or not defender, you're your best advocate for yourself. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? What you, what you, what you, what you able to control and how you, how everybody fuels off you is what enables a lot of guys to get into the player a year or two. And look at Rudy Gobert. He got three defensive players here, but he let, he led the league in, I think, in rebounds every year he done it. And yeah. and and top two or three in block shots, right? Every year. And and their team defense. So that's where it boils down to. But the thing is, that gets jaded too, because just because a team doesn't it's not in the top five or top ten defensive team doesn't mean you got great individual defenders out there either. You know what I'm saying? Look at Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart won the, the first guard to win it since yes, Gary Payton. I was going there. Yeah. And and um and, and guess what? And, and they I think Boston was top two or three in defensive and defense last year. That, that's not him alone. It's everybody right, out there though. Right, right. The whole that's a home, that's a team award. Oh, but they give it in the who set the tone for. But but when you sit there, well, I the only reason I advocate for myself and I you got you you your own best advocate for yourself. And we sit here and we talk about it, but you know, this thing about this, I've had people tell me. And work, whether they fans or or just very very they have the audacity to say some of the craziest shit in life. Like, <laughs> like what? You're a, just because, I'm like, just because you don't make an all defensive team, right, right, or an all star team or whatever. I was like, 
I was like, who the fuck told you that? <laughs> like, like, what kind of... What, what so just because... So basically, it basically goes back to some of these narratives to be created. So just because the media doesn't There's say that it, word. say on TV or you don't get voted in, yeah. you don't do it. It's like me telling... It's like telling, telling somebody... Uh, you can't drive a car unless I see you drive a car. <laughs> good That's he, really I good. Right, I, I, listen, I could be right there riding the car with you. I still don't think you can drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> you a passenger in my car. You gonna tell me I can't drive? I still can't. Yeah. Drive. I'm going to just run this bitch off the road and run, <laughs> run, run, run this in the river real quick. It just don't, it doesn't even make any sense right now. Some of, some of the stuff that people be saying, yeah. and I know common sense is not common anymore. You got the, you got the thing, all the things I speck and think about, and I'm like, are you, are you really got the, you got the audacity to say that to me, and and really, if you really know anything about this game, are you, are you, are, are you, are you looking at me? Are you talking to me as a fan for the, a love for the game? Or are you, are you talking about it just somebody just looking at just, just being a, a Boston, just basically being a, just, just, a, just an observer? You're not really dissecting the game for really what it is, and you're just looking at it from that content and just going off the narrative, whatever somebody else says. And There's that word again. Or not. That, that's what it's all about. Well, Sean, you know, man, I I look at it in terms of you have to be somewhat educated, Smith, uh, and not even on just educated about the game, on the defensive end, yeah. you know, understanding, you know, what it takes in order to do what he's doing, yeah. you know, and I know I'm not a defender, you know, I I, I couldn't defend. I was no so, duh. So, what, Smith? <laughs> no I duh. Didn't defend, but yo, Sean. <laughs> no. But what you, I, couldn't, you, you, you couldn't. It's like you didn't want to. No, Sean. No, he could. Oh, let me give it to you. <laughs> hey, Sean, I, hey, that's I, a lie. That is a freaking <laughs> lie. Uh, but Mark, you know, people used to go by Mark like he was nailed down on the fucking wood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They used to go by Smith, but Smith's offense was his defense. Kind of that way. Yeah, his offense but, was but his Sean, defense. What I want to get to is the fact that in order to really look at your game and understand what you're doing as a ball player, Looking at it, you can see some things, well, geez, that's hard to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not just defending your man. You're also helping in the spots that you have to help in mm -hmm. and then still guard your man. Which you is know, even more important. Which is more important with the team defense. Yeah. And looking at that, I think some guys are good on-ball defenders, you know, and some guys are good help defenders. But when I yeah. look at you, you know, and I can really look at you as cause I, I didn't want to see many good defenders. I hated to deal with them, but you were a headache. I mean, how many guys you see in the NBA on the division side, especially during your era, who, when they guarded their man, you knew for a fact that guy's a headache. I don't want to deal with mm -hmm. him. And I put you totally, I mean, without a question, you're in that headache category, meaning that, you know, I got to figure out how to get open. I got to figure out how to get loose. You know, because he's going to guard me everywhere I go. And when you look at it from that standpoint, to me, not many fit in that little window right there. Mm -hmm. Not many fit. You know, some guys can do these things. Uh, Dennis was a good on on ball defender, yes. a very good on on ball Dennis defender. Rodman, Dennis Rotman, yeah, you talk about a good, good on ball ball defender. But yes. after playing with him every day in practice. I found a ways to break Dennis's defense, uh -huh. you know, and I say, okay, well, you can be scored on that way, you know, but see that, I don't know that about you, Sean, and looking at you from the outside in, you were a headache, man. You were, you were, you, was tough. Yeah, you, you were an absolute headache, man. I mean, I mean, all the time. I mean, really all the time. And not many players, Gary Payton was a headache. An absolute headache. I thought he was a headache for for most guards because he he didn't do it all right, but he you, you you didn't want him on you. You know, you just didn't want him around you. <laughs> man, Stuck like glue. Oh yeah, you didn't want him on you, man. Just get away from Gary me. Payton, man. What are you talking uh, man, about? Gary Payton used to give you, you the fuck. Crazy. We ain't gonna go to that one. Uh, yeah, we can go to that one. You you we'll get Gary on here. Sure. I he bullied him. He bullied him. That's I all didn't he bully him. Sweet, come on. You tried to I fight him. Gary Payton. Yo, Sean. <laughs> Every game we play, Man. first thing Harp do is try to fight Gary Payton. Gary be talking about what he did to Mike. I did it to him, what he be talking about. <laughs> Yo, dog, let me tell you, dog. I, I got woke up today, Sean. If you, like I said, if I had to bet my house <laughs> on you not being on that all defensive team that's like them there every year you play, that's shocking, brother. I'm, I'm in your camp on that. That's, that's, 
That's ridiculous, man. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I That's couldn't ridiculous. agree more. Let, let, no. let's, let's talk more recent basketball. Everybody realize uh, no, what, that's, what, 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 what's going on. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's, man, that's in my mind now. No like, jeez, jeez. But what, when the season, tricks, when the season started this year, after all the, the chaos that went on with the Brooklyn Nets during the offseason, did you anticipate them firing their coach eight games, seven games into the season? You played with Steve. You know what kind of guy he is, what kind of leader he is, things of that nature. What did you think of the firing of Steve Nash? Um. Uh, yeah, you know, I I, I just uh, I talked to I talked to EJ about this the other day. You know, I think uh, you know I, did I did I anticipate this early? No. If if they was I thought they was gonna fire, they would have fired before the season started, yeah. or at least let them play. You know, at least twenty games into it and see and see if they can get Ben acclimated and all this other stuff, but. I guess they they figured the team wasn't responding to him, and they just need to part ways, man. You know, it just it just is what it is. It's, it's part of the business, man. You know, um, and uh, you know, you know, I think he I think he will rebound from it, especially if he wants to continue coaching. Like I said before, and uh, yeah. um, and uh, I think it's uh, you know, I, I, like I said, I think he should definitely try to do uh, be assistant coach with with uh, with with a team or somebody else for a few years first and get that. And get that, uh, you know, saying so get that that tutelage and uh, yeah. learn how to, you know, saying see what exactly he didn't do right and uh, and, and and see somebody else do it yeah. and just learn from it, you know, saying so for, you- for some, anybody to go into a, a coaching a head coaching job just never coaching uh, an NBA team it's it's like I mean it, it, I, you can't guarantee you would think it'd be a lot easier because you got you got some superstars yeah but it ain't, it ain't as easy as it's, it's not as easy as you think it is especially. Cause I, we, I, I did, like you said, I did play with Steve, and he's he's vocal, but not 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 an enforcer. Yeah, he's a, a laid back guy. There's no question. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, I I I look at that, and Sean, you can chime in on this. Is the fact that th- I, I really honestly think there were some red flags long before it got to this point. Mm-hmm. You know, because yeah. I was really shocked by the fact that. Um, you know, I don't know which player. There are some players, uh, basically, if I'm correct, said that they don't really need a coach. Yeah, both Kyrie and uh, but I think that he said that. But I think that's at a point as an organization, you got to understand how this thing is put together. Meaning that the, the the disrespect, or if you said that, that's a little disrespect to the coach, right? And in the entire team, I have to have respect for you as my teammate. Mm-hmm. It respect has to be, authority. Is it, what respect and authority. Down. I mean, yeah. if you're my point guard, or if Sean, if you're my other forward, and you say, "Mark, hey, look, we can't do it like that. You have to do it like this." Out of total yeah. respect for you, I have to listen to you and and really try to do what it takes for the team. But to hear that coming out the gate as an organization, that that that's really kind of a thing that I think that you should kind of handle early because you can't win. I don't care. How you've won a championship, I've had a chance to win a championship. You have to respect from the top to the bottom mm-hmm. in order to get there. Because any kink in your armor, yeah, uh, another team is going to take advantage of it. And I just, oh, yeah. I just thought that was a red flag, Sean, when the, when I heard that. Oh uh, yeah, you know, well, as you as you think about the the trickle down effect, so everything starts up top and it trickles down. So they should address that immediately. Yeah. But uh, and first of all. For I, I don't think we, nobody's ever heard anybody, an actual player, come on and say, we don't need a coach. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I had never heard that. But then again, though, this is how, if, if I'm the head coach of that team, this is when I pull, I pull, I pull those guys aside and, and like, okay, what, what makes y'all think y'all should say that? You know what I'm saying? We got, we have, we got to have a man, we got, we got to have a man to man talk. And because what's happening is once you say that now, now it's, it's like I said, it's a trickle down effect. So if the, if, your, if your star players are saying that or believing that, then what what makes you think you gonna get respect from the uh from the rest of the players? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so so all of these intangibles are are not in line, you know. And I, and I think that's that's the, that's the, the respect factor is the biggest part of it. Whether you like somebody or dislike somebody has nothing to do. with right. It's all about respect. Right. <laughs> right. Hey, I don't care if you well, like me. You can love me all you want, but if you don't respect yeah. me, what difference does it make? All right, Truth, exactly. What, what do you? What in the heck do you do with this for both? For all of us, what do you do with a guy like Ben Simmons? I mean, this guy hadn't played first of all in a year and a half or so. But what so, do you do with a guy that's lost 
all of his way. He's lost his. Is it been a year? No, it was his last year. He only played. He only missed one season last year. Okay, well, he missed all of last season. Yeah, he did. He did. So, yeah. so my thing. I love Ben. I want Ben to to come out of this. I I, I just don't know. I mean, I don't. You know, watching him right now, it seems like I, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like he, he's, he's, he's at one right now, and and I'm gonna give him. You gotta give him at least twenty, twenty five games or so to see get his, get his win back, get his, get his continuity, get his, this comp, see if he can get his confidence, but see if he can have a game. Hopefully, he can have a game here in the next, next stretch or so. If he get back, once he get back on the court, uh, where he gets twenty points or something, get his confidence back the way it was. The bend of old. Was out there was a monster on that court. The old Ben that we that we loved and got to got to know and respect was, oh, was, he was a an monster. Yeah, a monster on both ends of the floor. Yeah, man, a one man fast break, a, a one man full court press, and could guard almost anything on the floor, man. And and just did he's and just played with just 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 played the game for the love of it. And you can see it in his face right, and, right, right. And, his, and stuff. Right now, he gets the ball. He's not looking at the rim. Doesn't and look at like Sean. He, he can be he in the looked, paint. He, he try, he's trying to get rid of it as fast as he got the ball. Yeah. That's not Ben Simmons that we we come and got custom off. So I don't know if he has a mental block or not. I really want him to. I really want him to get out of this and break it. But listen, the, the way the media media is right now, is, and all this these this different levels, people are throwing stuff at him and saying stuff at him. Man, you can't you can't hide from him now. No, it is what it is. You're making you making thirty five, forty million dollars. That pressure is that pressure is there regardless if you like it or not. But he got to find a way. Well, whatever he does, got to do whether it's therapy or not or whatever it is. He got to get over this barrier. I want him to get over this barrier. And uh, and I talked to him uh, last summer in L.A. When I saw him, I was like, man, go out and just play a game, man. Go out and have fun. Done. Floor, dude, you you you're too talented, and the things you do. Who cares about shoot you shooting the ball or not, man? There's so many guys out here. He brings so much more to the game than any other any other player in the league. I was shooting though. If he if he did if he was able to shoot though, he did, he'd be unstoppable out there. You know what I'm saying? He's just that mental block. Whatever it is, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Just go out there and just let it go, man. Just go out there and just have fun. That's, That's the only awesome. way he's going to be able to get it. Just have fun. Let it let it, and let it, let the chips fall in place. Mark, I, I, I just don't understand somebody that loses their confidence confidence overnight like Ben has done. Well, Smith, I I think it's more than just overnight. You know, I've heard yeah. situations come to him like, um, you know, um, they don't need you. Oh, wow. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, you know, I heard all those things. And me... The team? I mean, the team? The no, coaches? No, uh, yeah, you know, I, ha I heard di different situations. You know, I can't... I don't want to put anything on anybody and I don't know exactly who said it, but yeah, yeah. it came out. Oh, but what you. I'm saying is, is that... First of all, there's no question that the kid can play. Yeah. He wouldn't have got to the NBA without being able to play because that just doesn't happen. All-star. He's been a two-time All-star. All-star. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that, and it may right or may be wrong, Sean or Harp, that I'm going to get, as an organization, as a GM, as a coach, I'm going to give this kid some cover, meaning that, listen, you know, what I want you to do is go out there and what you are good at is defense. Don't worry about any of that other shit. Just, I don't care if you miss all five shots and I'll let the media know. I don't care if he missed six shots in a row. I know I can use what he got and I'm going to build him back up to that. So shoot your damn shot. And if you miss it, I don't give a shit. On me. But I know what you can do. You can guard. So I got to get this kid a platform to build himself back up. Mm. Meaning that don't worry about that shit. Can't right. nobody do nothing to you but me. Right. So if you, I don't care if you shoot three threes and you miss the whole damn rim, but the thing you do in passing and on the offense, I need that shit to win. Yeah. So forget all that other shit. Now give him some cover, man. I mean, let him know that we need you, you know, and when you're missing a shot, you know, let him come to me about answering hey. about him not making the shot. Come to me. I'm the, I'm the coach. I'm the GM. Come to me. Well, you damn it. I told him to shoot that shot. And when he missed it, I don't give a shit. I need for him to play defense yeah. and give him some covers, man, because then he'll he'll get comfortable on the floor saying that, look, shoot every shot you need to shoot. And when you come to the bench, Ben, shoot that shot. Yeah. He needs some covers, man, because yeah. the kid can play, man. And no, nobody goes from that to that, man. They don't he got no covers, man. He got no you wanted covers. to say something, John? I mean, I, I agree. I think I think that the more he feels the 
the the people have his back. Kyrie came to his aid. Then he's like, man, give this guy some time. Man. Yeah, you know, and yeah. I respect I saw that. Mm-hmm. Kyrie come out saying that too because uh, they was they was basically. He in New York though. You in the Don Mecca. You in you in wow. the you in the biggest market in the world right now. So you got you got B riders, you got C riders, and you got your A A riders. So somebody's always gonna be riding something or speculating this, and it just is what it is. So this is part of it. But if if the if the coach and your 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 head or, your, or somebody will come out and, and actually say it the way you said, and he really feels that and he understands that. And um, and you got to sometimes you got to keep reiterating something to somebody in order for them to really truly believe it. Like it's easy for somebody to say something. Your actions speak louder than your words. Am mm-hmm. I right? Yep. Facts. Well, you know what, Sean, uh, Harp? I got I got to put this little deal in. You know, as you know, Harp, you played with me. Mm-hmm. There ain't nothing that I wouldn't do in order to win a game. Facts. I think you played me with me enough to know that. Yeah. And I That's was what it's all about. Yeah. I was in Detroit with uh, Dennis Rodman first year. I started, okay? Then our whole basketball team changed and it went to a different thing. And in actuality, uh, the starting position was more, the three starting position was in more need of defense than offense because I had Joe Dumars, I had Isaiah Thomas, I had Lambert, I had Buda Edwards. But on that starting lineup, we needed that defender. And what I'm trying to get to is that Dennis was so locked in his place, man. I had to take this guy out to dinner, Smith, mm-hmm. to say, Dennis, I'm okay yeah. with your starting. Mark, I can't do that. You even seen film where Chuck said, Dennis said, you want Mark in there? It was like, no, Dennis, listen, we, I'm not, I don't need to be in there right now. You, you're the best defender. And so I take that back to Ben, is that the fact that not only does the team need to go, I mean, that, that, that whole team, needs to rally around this kid, you know. They don't you need to let them know as a unit. Look, I don't care what you say. We are backing him. Right. I mean the entire team, the entire organization because I I I'm just not going to believe a kid that good can go from there to there with zero. At this time Ben Simmons need room to just play. Whatever you do is good. Just play. And, and and then he'll get his 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 confidence back, man. Everybody loses at one point. You know, he just needs his confidence back. All right, let, let's shift gears a little bit. Sean, listen. <clears throat> What's the one offensive player that busts your ass every time you saw him? Me. Ooh. <laughs> you trust me. Who, who put it on your ass the most? <laughs> Don't act like you got to think hey, about it. You know who it was. Somebody you that, know that who tore your butt up. Hey, who, who no. put it on you? Who put it on oh. you the most? Oh. Let's get something straight. Ain't nobody bust my ass. Uh, uh, now, hey. now, 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 <laughs> now, they fuck. And really, you know what I'm saying? Understand, I gotta get my rest the night before. It was—I mean, I can—I can listen to a lot of guys, but I'm gonna tell you one of the toughest guys when I when I, when I started my career, coming in early in my career, was one of the toughest guys for me to guard was uh, Jamal Mashburn, Ooh, and and I love Jamal because of his size, <laughs> and like he don't even get—they don't even—don't nobody even talk, talk about, about him. You're right. You know what I'm saying? He was both player, and his size though, Jamal. I was coming in. I was coming in six seven, two hundred twenty five pounds, skinny, skinny little young young buck. And uh, he was, you know, saying like Jamal Mashburn was six ten and and uh, had, a, had a wide body, you know, and a handle. Yeah. So crazy handles. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah. And you know what? Oh, I lo- I love playing against him because you know he elevated me. He got me to to understand how to play bigger guys and how to how to maneuver versus you know when you, people don't always think when you playing bigger and stronger, you always got to be physical with them. You don't have to be physical with them. I'm not finna sit there and bang with somebody all night. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> You're not finna wear me out doing this. I'm gonna hit you, get your stuff off your ass. I'm not finna be sitting up there, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes, you know, it's occasionally you do you get you do get caught leaning, they leaning on you ain't, ain't in a position you can't you can't maneuver out of. But for the most part, man, I got I had to use my my quickness and my, my athleticism, which I was able to stop these guys and make and they couldn't feel me and get uncomfortable. Yeah. And it just it, it caused a problem for them. But like like he was tough, but like you gotta realize this too, though. You know, when when I first came in, I was playing pretty much. I was guarding all small fours and some two guards here and there. But when I when once we went small ball, it was all power fours and centers pretty much uh-huh. for the most part. Right. So I'm right. guarding, you know, Tim Duncan, you know, Kevin Garnett, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all these big guys, Rasheed Wallace, all yes. these these guys, these guys yes. are seven foot. 
and they, I, I'm six, I'm, I'm six, seven, thirty, two hundred thirty pounds trying to yeah, keep yeah. up with these seven footers. Like that ain't that don't even sound right. That doesn't physically sound right. Think about it though. That doesn't physically sound right. But hey, it was awesome, and uh, I, I loved it. And I loved it, and I loved the challenge though, because I was like, you know what? I I wouldn't. I really wasn't. I, when they first told me I was going to do that, I wasn't optimistic about it. Right. But you know what? I was like, you know what? If we can win at this. Fuck it. Let's go for it. There you let's go. go there you go. You know? Well, everybody bust you. When I saw the end, though. Smith, it, it wasn't that. about everybody busting me. <laughs> it, was, it was about me busting them. It wasn't about who, everybody. Who could but, you guard? Yeah. <laughs> who could I guard? <laughs> they, they had nothing for me on the end either, though. That, that's what made it special, too, though. Like, if I, even though I had to work hard to guard these guys, yeah. oh, I was I was giving them 20 and 10 on the other end. Yeah, you were in transition. See, that's the key, Smith. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. You know, I had some days off because, you know, I like he can't score. You know, right. but yep. you know, on the other end, if your guy can guard and he's a little headache on the offensive end, that's a long night. Yeah, but who was your who was your toughest? I saw you give Doc fifty. That was uh, after the All Star game, Smith. Yeah, that's, I, that's I remember, I remember, I remember you giving that. him. I mean, I witnessed that and right. felt sorry for Doc. Yeah, I you felt sorry. Doc. I didn't feel sorry for him. <laughs> I did. I didn't shot. feel sorry, to Smith. You, you had know, to be there, but Trix. you know what happened, and you know why that happened. So yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah, who? Yeah. Larry Bird, Dominique. Well, no, when I actually some award or war, I wasn't a great defensive player, but in my humble, and I'm giving it to you straight, so far as small forwards, I only had to worry about two, maybe three. <laughs> but they didn't guard me, though. Right, right. See, Trix, you probably would have guarded me without a question. Yeah, but I been yeah like he'd have had to put tricks on me. But uh, most of them, I didn't see them. Dominique guarded somebody else. Larry guarded somebody else. Uh, Pippen guarded somebody else. I wanted a small forward. I didn't get no small forward. <laughs> Power but, forwards had to guard. Yeah, the other one's too light in the ass. Way too <laughs> light. They're too light in the ass to guard me. But, <laughs> but, but I mean, it, it, you know, but don't get me wrong. When it came down the other end, I had my hands full. Absolutely. I mean, goddamn full. So you know, it was it was a give and take, man. It was really a give and take. You know. I, let, me, let me ask both of you guys since you both won championships. Um, what what does a championship locker room look like? What does it feel like, Trix? I'll come to you first. Oh, yeah, sure. What what is uh, it? What does it what look you, like? Two eleven, Sean. You you guys won the won the big one in two eleven. What was your? I, I want people to know what it looks like in a locker room to be a champion. You mean you want the feeling after we won it, or the feeling the two to try to get there? The process, it, it's process, a journey. Yeah, yeah, it's a process. Yeah. Okay, so you want the process of of of, of what it what a championship built. locker room looks like? Okay. Yes. Okay, so so one of the one of the, the the best things I can say that um the locker room presence and and the you you when you walk in your locker room it's it's a certain it's a certain feeling in the air. Mm -hmm. It's uh <clears throat> it's an emotion you really can't I can't you can't even have no words for really to, to tell you but you know you look at you look at that guy you look at the guy in front of you you look at the guy next to you you look at the guy around you look at it look you're looking at everybody's mm -hmm. body language in there and one of the things that that I you can sense is like oh yeah when you when you feel like you that team and you feel like you know you about to do something special you you can you can sense it it's it's, it's a feeling that you you and only you can feel it like everybody out here going to have speculations of what you're supposed to do and not do but what you got going on in that locker room says it all. As long as as long as y'all 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 know what it is and y'all believe, we know what we can do. We know what we're capable of doing, and we ready to go out here and, and, and shut the world up. We gonna we gonna we gonna let everybody eat this nose. And, and, and the crazy part about it is, it was it's so amazing doing it too. Wow, yeah. Especially especially especially, especially telling people. Who 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 uh who think they know basketball? They don't know shit about basketball. <laughs> <laughs> like like y'all, you tell them tricks. <laughs> talk about all the intangibles, and everybody talk about this and that. Of course, you gotta. Everybody gotta create or pick a favorite or pick somebody. And the yeah. odds of, of this and that. What are the odds? Last time I checked, if you go back and look at our roster, go back and look at our roster in 2011. Yeah. And am I am I wrong? Top to bottom. Last time I checked, I don't think nobody had a deeper roster than we did. I think we had the best roster in the league besides Portland. Uh huh. One through fifteen, Portland. Portland was the only other person we beat them first round, and and uh, they they had the deepest roster compared to anybody else. Other than that, man, man, listen, it was it was ours to lose, and we knew that because we knew what we was capable about there doing. And the, and the sad part about that is though, 
Uh, when it go back to the set, we wouldn't pick to win none of those series, right? Right, right, heart? right. I remember. Oh, really? Like it was yesterday. No, no. They you were supposed to what lose you know to Porsche. Who the who the who the who in their fucking basketball mind would sit there and be like, <laughs> you know what? Uh, um, uh, we're not gonna pick them to win. Like, are you seriously? Like y'all yeah. kept y'all, they, they 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 was looking for a reason not to pick. Yeah. Them. Oh, yeah. They ain't too, I think Jay Kid is too old, or uh, he got a lot of guys past that front. Last time I checked, when you all star, you're an all star. And regardless if you all star this year, you all star last year. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Either from all star, you got all we got all star DNA, all star pedigree in my bones. It's bleeding in there, so you know what? You know what that means? And I'm a dog. So like, and we had some other dogs in this team. And that, that was, that's another thing people don't realize. You need you need to get three three. You need good three dogs, three three plus dogs in that locker room. Yes, sir. We had we had four or five of them on our team. <laughs> play, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like seriously, yeah. and we know we know exactly. Hey, hey we you can bark. You can, hey, you can bark all you want. Uh, yeah, we bite your ass over here. You know what I'm yes, you can bark yeah. all you want. We biting you over here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey man, you so on point. I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, he explained it yeah. exactly the way it is, man. Because the, you know, first of all, like he said, you know, when you go in the locker room, you know, everybody's trying to break you apart. All the media, all the everybody's trying to pick holes in you. And if you let them pick holes in you, Smith, and you go to argue with them, and you don't trust yourself and the yeah. group that's in the locker room, uh -huh. you're gonna fail. Yep. That that locker room has to be so tight. Mm -hmm. I mean, you explained it great. John, you have to be so tight in the fact that there's nothing that comes outside our locker room that everybody in the locker room is on the same page with it. Mm -hmm. And you don't go outside that page. You just don't go outside it, you know. And when you're that tight, they can't throw things out about you and your team to break it up. And, and once you get that, and like Sean said a minute ago, is that when you look at our roster, I'll put our roster up to get next to anybody in the NBA. And then the last thing is, you got to have dogs. If you yeah. ain't got no dogs on your team, I'm serious. <laughs> Sean said five. How many did you all have in Detroit? Twelve. <laughs> Twelve, man. We, we, so, we, so, 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 we had so, 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 <laughs> the ones that gonna bite, Sean. You know what? He ain't gonna just bark. <laughs> I hate we're out of time. We, we got some other stuff. Yes, hey, we, hey, and, we, and we was hungry, so you know that when we gonna bite your ass. Uh, immediately. Hold it. I'm gonna bite you first before you come out here. Let me let you know what you're dealing with. You're getting bit as soon as you walk on the floor. Hey, we, yeah, we yeah. have to. We have to do this again. Oh man, please. Real soon. Yeah, man, Sean. Tricks, man, I love listen. You, man. I appreciate you so much, Trick. You know that. Sean, man, just let me know, man. I don't know you, but to talk to you today, man, <laughs> I, I I'm I'm happy to know just a little bit of how you think, man. I mean, I I just don't know you, but Jeez, Tricks man, I like, I like talking to you. One, I don't know. I didn't know, Smith. I didn't know. God is a real hey, man. Man. I didn't know, man. I didn't know. You got to come over. You got to come over the house with some drinks, man. Right, right. I, look, you when, find I get, out, when I get, you'll back. find out more about tricks. Oh man, when I get <laughs> back to Chicago, man, whenever you get open day, man, look, we hook it up. Yeah, I gotta right. hook up with you, man. I love you, man. You got the number? Just hit me up. I yeah. got you, man. I'll do that, bro. Appreciate you, man. I'll be in touch. God bless you. All right. Thank you.